guys, welcome to Lovely News Network, and I want to come out here and talk about this really sad story, and it's coming from Scandalous Ass, South Carolina. It's about a fifth grade student, her name is Renaya Wright, and basically she got into a fight in the classroom, and we don't know all the details, I've been waiting for more details to come out, but what we do know is that after the fight, she went down to the nurse's office, she was still breathing, but she wasn't feeling well. They end up calling the ambulance. The ambulance took it to the hospital, and this fifth grader passed away. So this has been causing a lot of drama and a lot of controversy online. I want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. It's a shocking story. A fifth grader in South Carolina dies after a classroom fight at her elementary school. CNN's Victor Blackwell is following this story. Um, and walk us through what we know here and what we don't. So there are a lot of questions here, but we do have some answers. Let me take you back to Monday afternoon at Forest Hills Elementary School in Walterboro, South Carolina, just about an hour's drive west of Charleston, where there was a fight between 10-year-old Renaya Wright and another fifth grader. That other student has not been identified, but what we know from police is that there was an altercation between these two students, a fight, and this uh, Renaya Wright was sent to the nurse's station there, where she was described as unconscious, but breathing. Then she was sent to a local hospital, then airlifted to the uh, Children's Hospital in uh, Charleston, where this photograph was taken uh, and posted by her mother. Uh, we know that just yesterday, a 10-year-old Renaya died. Now, we don't know why that has not been released by uh, the family. There is an autopsy scheduled for tomorrow, and those answers are expected. Now, when it comes to the school, there is an executive meeting that's been going on for most of this hour where they have to answer the questions. Were these students unsupervised? Uh, how soon after the fight was uh, she sent to the nurse's station? Lots of questions here. We know that other student has been suspended. No criminal charges filed. All right, so you guys just saw that really sad news clip. So like I said, a lot of people are really upset. You know, one of the questions I have is, you know, where was the teacher? Did the teacher leave the classroom? Was this while the teacher was away? What happened during this fight? where another student was able to die, okay? So that's one thing that bothered me. Another thing that bothers me is this. If you guys remember, years ago, I did a video about, I think she was a 10-year-old, so maybe like a fourth grader at the time. The story went viral. It was one of my you know, first news stories I did. And basically, the 10-year-old girl and another girl, they got into a fight after school. Supposedly it was over a boy, I don't know. But both girls, they got ready to fight. The, the girl who ended up dying, she put her hair up. They were fighting. And what happened is that, you know, I don't know if the girl hit her too hard, knocked her out, but the way she fell back, she hit her head, and the 10-year-old girl ended up passing away. So this is not something uncommon. People are acting like, you know, it takes so much to kill somebody. Like I've always said, the human body is very, very fragile. This fight didn't have to go on for 10, 15 minutes. This could have been a two-minute fight. But if he, you know, she tripped over something or she was knocked over and she hit her head on a desk or, you know, she fell the wrong way, anything can kill you. What I think the bigger issue is, is not so much what killed her, because that's going to all come out eventually, but the bigger issue is where we're at as a society. We get so upset when children start perpetuating adult behavior, okay? Kids have gotten into fights at school since the beginning of time. Anytime there was conflict or issues, you would see kids fighting at school, so this is nothing new. But the problem now is that in society, especially on the internet, on social media, you got so many people who are sitting here not even acting like adults. They're out here bullying, harassing people, doing all types of silly shit. And then in turn, kids are watching that. You have videos going viral every day of grown women fighting, going back and forth, you know what I'm saying, boxing, pulling each other's hair out. You can turn on any reality TV show, somebody's getting into it, somebody's fighting. Everything in this world is being handled with conflict, okay? There is no more, well, let's talk, let's act like adults, let's be civil. Everything is just one big-ass extreme. So you're going to see more situations like this in the future. Because, again, as adults, you have a lot of adults out here who don't even understand how to handle conflict, who don't know how to carry themselves, and the babies are watching this shit, okay? So that's why whenever there's conflict or an issue in the classroom, instead of kids talking it out and trying to, you know, come to some type of resolution, first thing they want to do is throw up their fists. The first thing they want to do is threaten each other. If I can't beat you up, I have my brother come shoot you. I have my brother and my sister come beat you up. So it's getting really, really combative and crazy in these schools. But the sad part is I blame a lot of the adults in society because these kids are taking mental notes from us and how we carry ourselves. And then they're turning around and perpetuating that same bullshit. There's no reason for a fifth grader to go to school and not make it back the same way that you sent her to school. 
But what I am saying is that until we know all the details, we don't know who was the aggressor. Was it a bullying situation? Did she get pushed? Did she hit her head on the desk? A lot of folks got into fights in elementary and junior high. Do not act brand new on the internet. So if you got into a fight back then when you were a kid and you pushed somebody and they fell and hit their head, should you do life in prison? Should you go to jail for the rest of your life? You know, something needs to be done. And I really think that instead of just, you know, throwing away the fifth grader that was involved in the fight, throwing, you know, throwing her in jail and throwing away the key, I think there needs to be a bigger discussion of where we're going as a society where kids think that the only way that they can resolve conflict is by fighting and carrying on. Because again, a lot of these adults are horrible examples. So when you have a whole generation of adults exemplifying shitty ass behavior, horrible behavior, the children will soon follow. So this entire situation is really sad. Rest in peace to this young girl. And it's sad that you know, in a span of a few years, I'm doing another story about another young girl losing her life due to fighting at school. It just doesn't make sense whatsoever. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire tragic situation. That's once again coming from scandalous ass South Carolina. All right, deuces.